Hey, it's Pastor Fred and I'm here in my kind of winter wonderland. I'm getting ready in the Christmas zone. I'm loving this. So I want you to hit your uh, subscribe button. This is the Advent edition of our video follow throughs. And uh, we've been looking at the end of the world as we await the uh, birth of Jesus, right? And, and we know that those two are really connected. You can't have uh, the end of the world without the beginning of everything, right? And that's Jesus. Uh, and so today, um, I want to talk about Santa for a minute. I know uh, uh, p people have mixed feelings, especially as Christians, about Santa. But uh, we know all about his list, don't we? He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's got to find out who's naughty or nice. And uh, I, I wonder if we sometimes confuse Jesus with Santa and, uh, and, and think that, you know, God is perhaps making a list of who is naughty and nice and the naughty ones go to you know where uh, they go not to the south pole or the north pole but they get to go all the way down um, but those of us who are nice you know we get we get the good gifts and we get presents and we get to have eternal life and i don't think that's how it works um, in fact we know that, that that none of us measure up when it comes to god and what we're supposed to do and that and that's really the point because the love of god the love that jesus brings to us is it's called grace and grace means that I don't deserve it. It means I could never earn it. Uh, but it's simply given to us as this beautiful gift of God. And, and, and I think, I, I pray that during this, you know, this is kind of the gift giving and gift buying season. Let's remember, God gave us the greatest gift. And, um, and one of the things that, that we can look forward to, it's going to be better than any present we're going to receive, is Him coming again. His second arrival here to take us home, to bring us heaven. Now, for a lot of people, that's a scary thing, like a very scary thing. It's kind of like that Santa list. Uh, you know, am I going to get coal in my stocking? Am I going to be separated from God for eternity? Or am I going to have heaven? Okay, so here's what Jesus says. He says, um, and this is in Hebrews chapter 9. We're going to look at verse 28 today. It says that, that Christ, having been offered once, right? He went to that cross once, died there, paid the price for our sins, right? To bear the sins of many. It says that he will appear a second time. And that's that, that end of time thing that we're talking about. And, and the writer of Hebrews says it's not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Did you catch that word eagerly in there? Um, I think a lot of us, when we think of the end, we think of, uh, of Jesus' second coming and the return of Christ. It's like, you know, it, like we almost should cue the, like the dramatic music uh, because it, it, it feels heavy. It feels kind of maybe for some people scary. But I think what the, if we're feeling that way, that should cause us to go back. Go back to the truth of God, the truth of Scripture, that we're saved by His love and His forgiveness. And He's coming to take us home. He's already dealt with sin comes to save us as we're waiting for him. And I think, again, um, I'm going to probably say it a lot during these next couple of weeks, like during the, the present situation we find ourselves in, we need all the hope that we can get. And, and this is amazing. He comes to save us. So let us wait eagerly, not just for all the Christmas celebrations, but for Jesus to return to take us home. All right. I pray that, that speaks to you today, and we'll see you next time for another follow-through video.